let's drop a heal here. I wonder if he had any magical items. Alright, so we can get another proficiency here. And notably, our cleric only has 10 strength. So she can't actually wield very much. Um, not very strong. She doesn't have enough strength to wield a flail, for example. Um, let's see. So I had thought about getting her single weapon style uh, or sword and shield style, but these are pretty good. Um, because of that AC bonus, which is not bad. Um, we could give her access to another weapon here. Maybe we actually give her the quarter staff. I think that could be good. Let's give her quarter staffs. Okay. Go from there. So let's see. Did he have any magical stuff? Let's find out. Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. Actually, a couple of scrolls. Not too bad there. Find familiar is really good. This is one that we definitely need to make sure we um use a genius scroll or not a genius scroll, a genius potion, or to make certain that we learn it. Can't be risking uh, that scroll. It's a pretty rare one. Awesome. I can identify arrows of fire for free now. It's huge. And we've got a lot of these scrolls. We need to pick up a potion of genius somewhere. Pretty sure they sold them. I thought I saw one at the friendly arm. I forget. You want it? You got it. The loot. Cool. Uh, and we'll get some bags soon to handle um, ammo and jewelry. For now, we just have to deal with that. Okay, um, well, we've got a good portion of this map scouted out. Let's have Jeff hang out back here. Um, well, all right, I guess the Kobold Commandos are going to do the exploring for us. Smack him a couple times, I guess, and heal our cleric. Sure. Okay. Um, let's see, but I, anyway, I, I was going to check out what's in here. I feel like this might be like a closed off area or something. You know, pretty open. Okay, okay. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good time enjoying everything as we are exploring and leveling up. Just getting through Act 1 and Act 2's content here. We haven't quite gone to the Nashkel Mines yet. I'm a little worried about the uh, the boss fight at the end of it. It is going to be really hard because we've got SA SCS turned up to the max. I really want to <laughs> probably over-prepare a little bit. Go in, just breeze right through that fight, because otherwise we are going to be struggling with that. It can be quite brutal. Another one that we really are worried about is um, the carnival fight. The fight at the end of the carnival questline is quite brutal. So we would really be struggling with that uh, if we tried to do that any sooner. Um, let's see, Sprat says, no time, no time! On the run with info, off to Om to report of things most dire indeed. Bandit raids increasing, iron ore depleting, and everyone is up in arms about their lack of arms. No wonder relations are strained to the brink. On my way I am to Om. Hey. That's good. Yeah, so I, maybe we're seeing these messengers because we still haven't dealt with the iron crisis. But, uh, I am... I don't think we're ready to deal with the iron crisis yet, so we'll have to take that on... Um, in a little while, let's do some more exploration and see what kind of trouble we can get into in the meantime. Maybe we stumble upon some key locations and we'll, we'll know where to come back to in the future. Agrilon, okay, well let's get some primarily ranged attacks in on this guy, just to make sure to do lots of damage. 
go. Okay, there's a lot of them. Um, but I think that should be fine. Our tank is pretty tanky. Yep, yep, that's a pretty tanky tank. Oh yeah, Dwarven Defender is fantastic. We didn't even have to use the ability there. But just Dwarves in general, as fighters, are amazing tanks because of that constitution bonus. But that Dwarven Defender class giving you the 50% damage reduction, it's just nuts. Really, really good. Let's actually drop a light heal. Oops, on uh, this. Oh, there's some Zvarts, alright. Well, definitely want to be fighting them, so let's try to single them down. Okay. In small groups, these creatures are not very threatening. They often come in very large groups. In fact, there is a whole map that is dedicated to like a nest of these. I forget where it is. Um, but that is also a place we could probably go do. Before we did the Nashgal Mines. Let's go clear out the Savart Nest. There seems to be an abandoned house here. Well, he needs help, I guess. What do you need, man? I suppose he needs help from them. His parts are after my cows again. You have to help me. Okay, Holrick. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to save your cow, in all honesty. Does not look like I'm going to be able to do that one for you, buddy. Um, but we can try. So what I'm going to do is have my uh, characters each attack a different target. Oh, no. Cow's toast. Okay, Bigly killed her target. The face killed... Alright. Oh no. Um, Alright, well this is actually maybe working. We might be able to save the cow. I wonder if we get any kind of bonus for saving the cow. That would be pretty funny. We saved the cow. Let's go. Whoa. Uh, okay. Well, this one's running towards the cow, so it needs to die now. There we go. And let's micro our ranged units away. Go sort of do that. Shuffle. Just bring it around town. There we go. Okay. So do we get anything for saving your cow? I got achievement. Let's go. <laughs> achievement. Save the cow. <laughs> Does he give me anything? Thanks for saving Arabelle here. Ever since them Zvarts and their kobold can swarm the mines at Nashville, they've been making attacks like that more and more often. If someone like yourself could get to the bottom of that, all of us trying to make an honest living out here sure would be grateful. I see, so it is a plot hook. Uh, they must be operating from a base nearby, but I cannot be sure where. Well, that is probably that uh, location that I was talking about. I remember that being a spot that existed. I don't know where it is. We get a little bit of gold. And we save to the cow. Let's go. Where's Jeff? Jeff is all the way over there. Let's bring him back. Hopefully Jeff can manage to avoid getting into trouble along the way. That's good. Alright, so what are we going to do with... But it does. Um, okay, so there is an Ogrel on here. Let's go ahead and take that on while we have Jeff stand over here. A few of those, actually, but we're just going to focus on one at a time. There we go. Uh, let's focus on that one, and I'm actually going to engage this one over here. There we go. Now they're both engaged in melee, so they will stop walking around. Awesome. And that's two down. And three down. Easy peasy. 
collecting up that XP, soaking it up. You want it. You want to got a lot of gems right now, actually. Those are gonna be good to sell off. Okay, that's, that's a lot of bears. I'm kind of worried about walking past them. I really don't want to aggro. Oh, yep, there we go. Don't worry about me. Okay, so we've aggroed in this kind of awkward spot. I need to get Strongacus onto the bear, and I want to make these two go around here. There's a, some invisible terrain directly to the right of my characters here, which is why this is kind of awkward. We're just going to try to single this bear out. Okay, that's good. Because, yeah, we've got... Okay, some big problems here. Actually, really big problems. Um, hmm, I need Jeff. I need Jeff for this. I want... I Okay, uh... Do we run? I think we run. Yeah, I think we run. Um, this bear is going to chase us. Which is not ideal. But let's, uh, let's run. Because we really want that Berserk to wear off. Fine. Um, I'm going to have her cast a heal on her. We're going to have Jeff actually stand back. And we're going to have Strongacus come around to the front to try to aggro stuff. Because this thing is still chasing Bigly and like she's pretty badly hurt at this point. So, I, yeah, we are still ag... Or, let's see, okay... The, the hobgoblins are still aggroed, um, which I think does mean that we will see that berserker. Yeah. We kill this bear. Okay, the bear died, which is great. Um, but that berserker is still berserk, and we do not want to mess with that if we can avoid it. Um, so let's try kiting backwards, and maybe this, these berserkers are hit so hard. Um, and see what we can do here. So we don't take the poison there. Um, which is good. Try dropping another heal on Strongacus while we can. And then, um, so once this heal has started, you can see she's casting it. Now we can send Strongacus back. Send everybody else still walking in the same direction. Okay, so now Strongacus is in front. Let's have Bigly turn around. We'll have Madam Stabslot turn around. We'll have Jeff turn around, and we're going to cast Sleep over here. Hopefully, we get a success there. You can see that heal triggered, even though he was pretty far from our healer. That's a great way to get in a sneaky heal if you need to. Um, and we're going to try to we're going to try to get the adds with that Sleep, um, and hopefully that works. And let's just send everybody then focusing on this Berserker. Okay, that's great. We got most of the adds with the sleep, but we did not get this other Hobgoblin Elite, which we really wanted to get that character. Um, so hopefully we don't get... Okay, we've got a poison on Jeff, actually, which is totally unacceptable. Um, this is really, really bad that I let him get targeted without realizing it. Um, so let's put this antidote in his bag um and this poison i'm not sure how strong this actually is um okay it's, it doesn't seem like it's that strong of a poison so yeah he was able to take a few steps without getting hit with it which is good um so this fight against the ogre berserker is not going great because we are doing a lot of damage also taking a lot of damage. So I think I need to drop on our last heal here, which is kind of scary. Um, 
but I think we kill this. Consider it done. But we need to have, I think, everybody else focus on this Pop Goblin Elite. And in fact, maybe I need to pop. I think I need to pop this. Gotta pop defensive stance. Yeah, okay. So we've gotten rid of the other hobgoblin. And let's kill this one. Um, whoops. No, 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 no. Just those guys. Yeah. Okay, that's so good. Okay, a crit. Wow. Crit out of Strongakiss takes down the Ogre Berserker. Um, so let's send Strongakiss after the Ogrelon. We're gonna not wake up the Hobgoblin Elite until a ranged attack lands. There we go. Okay, um, so the big thing that I worry about in this situation is that Jeff is at seven hit points. Um, so if we get ambushed, it's bad. Don't worry about me. Uh, and I'm not really sure what to do about that. We did beat another Ogre Berserk. So part of this map is cleared out um, in that respect. Like, we could go explore over there if I wasn't worried there would be more combat. Uh, and we do not... We do not have the health for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try casting armor. And then hopefully we can make it to Nashkel from here. If we get, as long as we don't get waylaid um, by too many ranged things, to, I think it should be okay. Yeah, it's only eight hours. Okay, and we didn't get waylaid by... Okay, that that's really good. I think it would have been fine either way because we have that armory spell up for Jeff. But it's really great that didn't happen. So you can see that we have not actually even been here yet, apparently. Uh -huh. I thought we had. But let's get uh, our map markers. Clear out some of this. This is all peaceful area, so we don't need to worry about exploring. But I'm pretty sure that one of the inns, if we go to a certain inn, we will die, which is not good. Have to think of it. Uh, yeah. Right. I don't know if you can rest in the street here. Let's see, what does this pathway go to? It seems awfully pretty. It seems like it would go somewhere. Nothing with a label. Manor house, okay, well. Just second. Okay, that appears to be uh, a crypt. What else do we got on here? Oh, it seems it's a little graveyard then. It's a graveyard. Okay. Garrison. Well. This Belching Dragon Tavern. Edwin, I know that character. I wonder if uh, there's an assassin waiting for us inside this tavern like there is in most of them. Oh good, there isn't. How lucky. Can we get a room? Is this, does, are there rooms here? <laughs> Clearly there are rooms. I got some cheap beer for ya. Fred. You want it? Okay, well, that didn't... Uh, there, There is not a room at the Belching Dragon. Uh, I think down to the south is just like... Uh, tavern locations. So let's see if we can find a tavern elsewhere. Uh, this is a pretty big area. Let's just try to reveal it and maybe we'll find something along the way. Graveyard. Baron Gaskill. Uh, you there. You have the look of hardy adventuring stock. I am Baron Gaskill, mayor of Nashkill. Might I offer you a proposition? I was expecting some people to help with our troubles, but they seem to have forgotten us. If you are up to it, I would ask that you take a look at the mines southeast of town. The miners claim there are demons or some such roaming about, but they are a superstitious lot and prone to exaggeration. I am more concerned with the state of our ore. 
All of our irons removed from the mines is tainted somehow and useless for smithing. I would have you find out how it happens and who is behind it. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts. Okay, so the mayor approaches me and is like, hey. Help. Gotcha. Nashville store, cool. Identify yourselves. We are the party of Strongicus Maximus, seeking a place to rest between adventures. There be an in here, but consider yourself warned. Tensions run high right now. Cause any trouble and you'll have worn out your welcome. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one of the inns where we get attacked if we walk into it, but I think we might just be strong enough that it's okay. Let's find out. Don't worry about me. I will show you justice. Several of these inns um, are a death sentence when you're level one. This may be a touch yep. Just fancy seeing you stroll in here, bold as day. I expected a hunt and chase from the description, but who am I to argue easy coins in the purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Um, let's see. If money be your motivation, surely we can make a deal. I have made my deals and shall abide by them. Some others might yield to such an offer, but I would say that they lack focus. Hmm, okay. Well, so the funny thing about these infights is that nobody helps. <laughs> Even though they definitely could. So, if I remember correctly, she casts some spells and is generally quite scary. Um, so we're going to send uh, Bigly in here with a melee weapon first. We're going to send Jeff over here. Just have him hide in a corner. Um, please go over there, Jeff. Yeah, you can see her casting magic already. Um, I don't really know what all she's doing. But she's definitely casting some stuff, and I don't like it. Um, she doesn't have anything precast, which is really good. Um, I anticipated she would, but that perhaps would just be too much. Hold person is really not great. Uh, I strongly dislike that. So we might have to body block her. Wait, what? Oh, someone tried to talk to me. I paid 35 gold for a sword from Biragost, and it rotted in my hands. What can diseased metal... What can diseased metal sow? Has your gear done the same? Even if you got your blades out of some old dank dungeon, just bringing in them near tainted metal makes them weak. Seems like only magic weapons don't degrade. But who has those? No one I know. Um, okay, well anyway, I think we, we succeeded. Yeah, we succeeded the hold save, which is really excellent. Um, actually, before I send Strong of Kiss in, let's have him heal himself. Um, and... Let's see, we have these two already ranging her, right? We literally have done no damage to her yet. Um, but we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. Okay, hopefully this works. She hits me. We still haven't hit her, even once. Um, okay, so we're, we're still, we're trying, we're trying to do some damage to this character. Um, I thought it would be a little easier. <laughs> uh, but I guess not. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm not doing my bard song. Maybe that'll help. Okay, we heard her. All right, we interrupted one of her, her spells. That's a big deal. All right, there we go. Another hit. Another hit. Yes, we got her. We got her. All right, first try. Well, I, I think she killed us once before, but... That was a long time ago. We were level one. All right. Ooh, a helmet. Magical helmet. And split mails are usually worth something. So we can sell that off. 50 gold or so. I wonder what the helmet does. The Eyes of Truth. Infravision. Well, that's pretty neat. Might as well. Sure. Well, anyhow. Um, sir. Uh, can I have a room to sleep in? in your establishment. I know you won't keep me from dying, apparently, but it would be nice. Don't worry about me. And I guess we might even sleep again, because, like, ouch. Uh, huh. Yeah, we need to do that. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I think we need to just rest again. Um, we can try go doing some other stuff. Maybe we go check out the carnival before we rest. I do have a couple heals left, and I think there's some scraps we could get into over there. There we go. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's great, Peter. Let's see, oh, can we talk to anyone? I wonder if there's anyone who might give us a quest. One back here. No guests? Alright, well, we'll get out of here then. Maybe check out the, uh, the store next door. Anything, anything interesting to buy here, perhaps? Let's see what we got. Any spells, first off. It's like no spell scrolls. Um, well, we've got... I guess we can sell off our gemstones and our old items. So... Uh, sell that off. This... I feel like that's for a quest. But I, I don't really know how much I care at this point. Um, yeah, let's just sell it. We'll buy it if we want it again. Okay, oh, I missed one there. Got a Link's Eye gem still. Alright. Cool, so we've got 6,000 gold right now. And there is nothing interesting here at all. Okay, basic supplies. That's fine. Don't need anything identified. Okay. Promised us gold if we bring back winter wolf pelts. Sure. Okay. Um, Alright, so there's still some more of this town to explore. I wonder what we might find. Don't worry about me. Let's go this way. Ooh, I believe this is a temple then. Nice. Perhaps we can find one of those potions of genius. There we go. You want it? You've got it. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill, you understand. Helm watch over you and our poor lost brother, Brage. A finer captain of the guard could nary be found this side of all. Such a strange change for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He'll find no quarter at the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need not be his life. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes. What kind of services do you provide? Let's see. Okay, well, they've mostly just got stuff here. Oh. I was hoping for more interesting potions. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Okay, well, let's explore to the north. Well, I quickly Google where to get potions of genius. <laughs> okay. Let's see where those are located. I know that they're they're sold somewhere. Uh, Sorceress sundries. Ah, uh, the Temple of Wisdom. <laughs> which is outside the Friendly Arm Inn. So that, I did see them at the Friendly Arm. I thought so. Okay, well, we'll have to go back to the Friendly Arm at some point. I think we're going to go north anyway later on. But I'm wanting to get them before that. Where is Sorcerer's Sundries? Let's find that. Um, that is... East Baldur's Gate. Damn. Okay, well, that's going to be hard to find. Uh, we're a ways off of actually being at Baldur's Gate. 
Well, I guess then uh, Sorcerer's Sundries is not working. We'll have to go back to the Friendly Arms. So. Let's, uh, let's delay that trip back to the Friendly Arm. We'll learn more spells when we need them. And we can also potentially get some Potions of Genius from drops. There are a couple of things that drop them. Interesting. Okay, well. Anyhow. Let's see, what do we got down here? There's a house. Have a map note? That's a tower. Interesting. Let's see. Continue exploring a bit. Let's go across the river. There was some more stuff over here. I believe Edwin is also here. We can talk to him. Of course, if we have a pre-made party, we won't be adventuring with him this time. He's a great character, though very strong, though quite evil. Yes, they will do nicely. He says, I would have you kill a witch. The witch Dinah here. She is treacherous, but with your participation, I foresee no difficulty. Will you assist? Uh, why would you have this woman dead? Am I to kill her without knowing? Frankly, yes. It is no concern of yours. You need but perform the act with no questions. What is your answer? I will not act without knowing the facts. I refuse. Hmm. Seems I shall have to find others more accustomed to confidential work. Be gone. I have no time for this. I've got this. We are not going to go kill Dinah here. Hey. This is Nuber. He is annoying. That's his whole thing. He follows you around and asks questions. Now, you can stab him. It's ill-advised. It will hurt your reputation. But technically speaking, you are able to. Yep, see? Yeah. He's going to follow you around and ask questions the whole time you're in this area. But he's pretty slow. We're just going to reveal things. Look at what is going on over here. It looks like there's a farm. Who did? Carp. Hello, Carp. What's your tale? I wish things were better here on the farm, but at least we're not miners. Um, how could anything be better than this pristine pastoral setting? Aye, we could have a crop for starters. See those crusted mounds of earth? They're all left over from last year's harvest. The sun's baked them firm and hard, and the plow breaks at the very thought of trying to turn that tortured soil. My son tried pushing the new seats in between the cracks, but I doubt anything will come of it. Come this time next year, we'll all be living in the endless slums of Athla Athcatla. So yes, I wish things were better in this, in this here pristine and pastoral setting. Mm -hmm. Oh, she doesn't seem to be helpable, so I suppose we'll leave her to her woes. This is a large farming area, it seems. I see, there is a house. Let's continue exploring, see if there's anything else around here. Oh, another house. Cool. A few locations of potential interest around here. And we've got a safe place to rest now in Nashkel, which is fantastic for us. Neither of these have map notes. Neither of these houses have map notes, which I find interesting. That makes me think that we're going to be coming back here later to check those houses out, or that perhaps we should just randomly wander into them and see if they give us quests. Uh, 
I don't know about you, but people barging into my house randomly are the first people I think to ask for help. Okay, well, there we go. And now we have revealed the map of Nashkel. Um, surprisingly few notes here. The Nashville store is a major disappointment. I guess it's probably because of the iron shortage. Now that I think about it, that is what's going on. Okay, well, let's see. On the Nashville seems. To... All right, I needed to check out the garrison. I thought this and see if I can convince them to let go of. Rage. Perhaps I can uh, save him. A secret item you may know about. Oh, really? He gets bored. I did not know that. A secret item? Uh, I, do, I, I may or may not know about it. Stand away, citizen. Um, hey there. Who told you that you could come on in here? This place is only for members of the Omni and Soldiery. Little snot noses like you, you're not welcome here. Come on, get out of here before I have to kick your butts. Hey, I'm sorry. We didn't know this was the barracks. We'll get out right now. He says, good, run off with your tails between your legs. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business. Get out of my way. Don't worry about me. Okay, well. Okay, well, he left, though. I guess, um, is this... I thought one of these would be the dude we're looking for. Seems like they aren't. Hmm. See anything to click on? Stand away, citizen. Hmm. There's a large reward for the head of Brage. His former comrades seem unwilling to try to collect it, though. Is that the guy that I was just talking to? Um. Right. Okay, wait, where is he, though? So I guess he's not in the building right now. I kind of thought he would be, but okay. So if I can come, if I come across that guy, I will be able to collect his bounty. That's nice. A set of oncakes, but no. Oh, right. I forgot about the oncakes. I might actually be able to kill them now. Um, that was the big reason we couldn't go to Baldur's Gate yet. Um, also, here is Minsk. Uh, this is one of my favorite characters from uh, Baldur's Gate. He shows back up in Baldur's Gate 2. <laughs> he says, I agree, Boo. They looked th to be friendly. Greetings. We are Minsk and Boo. We have traveled far to explore this land, but now my charge of Dinah here has been taken from us. Of course, Knowles, and once we have tracked them, I will beat sense into their heads until they release her. Accompany us, and bards will sing the deeds of Minsk and Boo, and friends. Um, let's see, I'll say, uh, excuse me, but are you speaking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. Um, let's see, so I'll say, uh, oh no, I'll not follow a loon into battle. My sympathies to your friend, but you're on your own. Um... You would leave an innocent to suffer with nary a twitch of your sword arm? Oh, okay. I may have made him mad. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to kill Minsk. That's sad. I didn't realize he was gonna he was gonna make me have to kill him. That's that that's a shame, because I like this character, but Yeah, unfortunately he's gonna he's gonna have to get smacked. Oh, we didn't even have to kill him. The Omnian soldier killed him. Well, alright. Plausible deniability. Let's go. We got away with it. The perfect crap. Oh, on the left side of the map, in the ground? Really? In the ground? Like, uh, in that little... Is it this blue thing here? 
I know it's not too hard to get it. So um, you just need to kill a few ant cakes, right? I didn't know there was a free set of it, though. That's very interesting. That could come in handy. Let's deal with Nuber, I guess. He just says, what about now, now? Are you going to throw rocks at me? He's wondering if we're going to throw rocks at him. That's pretty funny. I, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's getting bored. Hmm. Well, I think you may have gotten me huh? <laughs> Good for Jahira. Ah, yeah. Don't worry about me. Hmm. -mm. Hmm. I definitely didn't see it. Oh, wait. There's a spot in the ground. There's another spot in the ground. Hmm. There we go. NK play mail. Well, all right. Hey, you are not kidding. That is just a free Ancake Play Mail. So that's pretty good, actually. This is a really good item. Um, very strong. This is armor class 1 compared to... Yeah, armor class 3. That is amazing. Because now we can take this Plate Mail and shove that over to her. Everybody gets a buff, basically. Well, I guess now our two main melee characters get a buff. That's great. Yeah, thanks for the heads up there. At this too. Don't worry about me. Nice. Appreciate that. Takes a lot, but he does get bored. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I just it was, seemed like it re was repeating. It's that same thing where it repeats. Interesting. Oh well. All right. Hey, you okay? Don't worry about me. I've never seen that before. I always, um, I always just ignored him. Or on evil playthroughs, I stabbed him. Three sorts of bad reputation, you know? Well, okay. Um, well, I guess where do we go then? Where do we go? Do more heals. We've got a few. Don't worry about me. We could do a little adventuring. See what's nearby. So, a lot of these maps I haven't fully explored yet. And there's also the carnival, but I really don't feel comfortable doing the carnival yet. I think we're gonna die if I try to do the carnival. A very hard fight with no loot, but it's funny. So interesting. Um, well, I guess if it's very hard, maybe we come back and do that another time. Um, but that's interesting. Just for the memes. And to show it off. Okay, well, we are out here in the wilderness south of Nashkill. I don't know where we are. I don't know what we're doing. We're just adventuring. I'm feeling pretty strong. We got a, uh, that Ancake Plate Mail. That is just massive for our tank here. He's way harder to hit now. Saves us some time, a few thousand gold as well. We can get some end cake plate mail made for us later. Um, there's end cakes we can kill to the um, the north of the friendly arm. That's that's 
the way I've normally gotten that plate mail. Pretty nice to know that you can get a second one so easily. Don't worry about me. We will want two. At least for a, for a little while. Eventually we'll get some better armors, but for a long time actually, NK plate mail is going to be one of the better armors we have. It is very heavy, which is notable. Across the river there, actually. Um, there's a skeleton. Very well. A few skeletons, actually, it seems. Hmm. Well, that's one down. These skeletons probably don't need too much commentary. You've seen this before. Just keeping Jeff away. Smacking them down one by one. They'll kite a little bit, but eventually they'll give up on that. And there we go. Okay. So we do want to check these drops, just make sure that they did not drop any scrolls. Sometimes they do. With uh, SCS in. So we want to make sure not to miss any of those uh, some of these scrolls can be pretty hard to get otherwise. We picked up a, uh, a Find Familiar scroll earlier, for example. Let's uh, keep revealing things. Here's a Zvart. Use farts. Right. Whoa. Oh, I don't like that. There's two two people here with one-syllable names. That's, that sound, that feels evil. I feel like they're evil. I don't know why, but one syllable name, man, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna try to find me. Okay, we'll do this and that. Right, this one. Okay, yep. Yeah, oh yeah. Hey there, pal. Seems like your party's wandered a little bit off the beaten path. Well, that's too bad for you, because now you've had the misfortune of meeting the fastest draw in the West. See that man over yonder? His name's Zal. And he's the fastest dart thrower that ever walked the Sword Coast. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't want to test the patience of such a man. So why don't you do the wise thing and hand over all your money? Otherwise, you're going to be in a big heap of trouble. Are you some sort of moron? The fastest dart thrower in the West? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Bring it on, Val. Vax, you go tell Zal to show us stuff. Hear that, Zal? Seems like they don't take you seriously. Guess it's time to show what for, huh? Sorry, guys, but you're in for a world of hurt. All right, so he's hit a potion of heroism. Um, I guess I need to have a sleep spell drop in here. He died in one hit. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think he's that much of a threat. Let's, uh, let's go after him just in case. Try to get into melee. Yeah, it not doing any damage. Okay, I think we're good there. But we're gonna need to use Madam Stab's lot here in melee to get uh, this Vart dealt with. Because it is aggroed on. Go. Okay, so we'll send one there and we'll use God's plan to get Madam Stab's lot out of melee. Um, go. You can see Stronger Kiss is just beaten on Zhao. Things are going fine. Except we're having to run. <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay. Finally, she turns around. Zhao is running now, which is good. Um, what we get for ambushing us. Okay, and I think we should be able to catch him with a stray ranged attack here. As he runs around frantically. Yeah, you better. Oh, a couple of potions. Thanks. I'm just going to grab this loot while everybody else chases. I expect that he will die soon. He's just running around. 
having a morale failure. Oh, everybody stopped. Why did everybody stop? I missed. Okay, how about melee? Excuse me, what? Why is he not dead yet? There we go, finally. Does he have some kind of magical dart? He's got bracers. Okay. Magical bracers. I don't know what they do. So I guess we'll have to find out another time, but I bet they have something to do with dart throwing. Or, or, like, ranged weapons, perhaps? Not sure. Regardless. Loot and XP. Let's go. Alright, well, we've got some room here. Explore into. Very well. Don't worry about me. You want it, you've got it. All right, all right. Okay, uh, stabs a lot. I did not mean to bring in a melee here, but this is fine, honestly. So I'm just going to have her go that way. Go. No, oh, everybody's fine. Jeff just needs to stay back, though. No real reason to have Jeff go into melee. Okay, and then everybody's dead. Hooray. We'll go ahead and check these. Just want to make sure we're not missing out on any spell scrolls. As usual. Okay. Occasionally, randomly drop. Here, little doggy. Aw, why won't you come home? Excuse me. I ever so sorry to bother, but could you help me right now? I've lost my little dog, and I can't find him. He's probably so scared right now. Um. Hmm. Have you no parents here to help thee? It's dangerous to be out alone. Parents? Yes, I'm here with some relatives, but they're away for a moment and I'm lost. We are thinking of moving here someday, but I don't know my way around yet. I can get home okay, but I just gotta get Rufy back. Please, could you help? Certainly, little one. I would be glad to aid you. How will I recognize him? You will? Oh, thank you so fairly much. I just know he'll be alright now. Poor Rufy isn't used to strange places and people. You'll know him when you see him because he is just a cute little thing. Here, take this as well. His favorite chew toy it is. He'll know you're a friend if you have it in your hands. Thank you so much again. Right, so we got a chew toy. Don't see it. In our inventory here. Ooh, it's holding the oh, there's the chew toy. Okay, maybe able to lure the dog back to his master, so I suppose there is a dog somewhere in this map. We are meant to find it. Let's keep an eye out for that. Okay, but that is a skeleton, so that is not a dog. Okay, there's more skeletons. We're going to break off Strongacus and God's plan from the chase here to focus on them. Split that up. There we go. Put that focus around. With these weaker enemies, splitting focus like that is definitely the way to go. Alright. So we have defeated. No. Ooh, nothing there. Nothing there, alright. I've got this. Let's see, we'll just explore around here. Haven't 
been in this direction at all yet on this map. Let's see what's over here. Like we got oh a bear. Well, all right. These bears are pretty fierce. So we'll do that. Oh no, actually, let's put her on ranged. I expect this attack to hurt. Oh, it didn't actually get any damage done to me. That's good. Those bears can do some serious damage. Um, so let's actually get this map exit while we're here. Might as well. Oh, so Nashville Mines are now unlocked. sense of the scale here. Looks like we can keep going down the side. Okay, there's some Svarts back here, so let's bring Jeff back. Actually, okay, hold up. <laughs> Everybody go backwards. Jeff somehow wound up in front. We need Strongicus in front. Right, what's this then? All right, all right. Okay, there we go. Jeff can just chill here. We'll go fight those farts. You want it? You've got it. If you insist, don't worry about me. Okay, easy clap. southern edge of the map now. Okay. We've got most of this map blocked out now. What is going on here? Daryl, Larry, and Daryl. Okay. Um. Hi. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. We're real pleased to meet you. Why would a Svart, a Kobold, and a Tasloid be wandering around calling themselves Larry, Daryl, and Daryl? See, Daryl, I told you these guys were the wrong generation. I see. I see. I get it. Okay, well. That's pretty funny. Okay. Got Kobold here. Let's kill that. So there's a bunch of kobold, but I don't think it'll be a problem, really. Um, because we do lots of damage. But we do want to split our focus here. Wait, kobold. Fuck. We want to split our focus here. Let's put each of our ranged characters on each of these ranged kobolds in the back line. And then we want to have our melee characters here. Have them focus on this kobold, the normal kobold first. Oh, okay. So the face got a kill pretty easily. That's nice. So we'll just switch her over onto the other ranged one. Nice. Madam Stabs a lot picking up a kill there. And that's good. Okay, so now that they've got that other ad broken, you can switch them both off to Kobold Guards. They both get their kills. That's great. And there's that last Kobold. Excellent. All right, we're on a little bit of a delta here. That's kind of interesting. Bring Jeff over here. I think it should be safe to bring him across. I've got this. Okay, interesting. But well, we can walk over up here. All right then. Don't worry 
about me. Oh, but we can't cross there. Maybe we can cross up here though. Looks like we can. Let's just Okay. Oh, a winter wolf. We were looking for one of these. This pelt is money. Wow, okay. that They do cold magic, I guess? Not know that. Wow, surprisingly hard to hit. There we go. I wonder how much this pelt is worth. Heard, it better be worth a lot. <laughs> okay, well, let's drop one of our big heals. We've still got several more, so we're in good shape still to uh, keep exploring. Uh, looks like we're wanting to check out this little area here. Then we just got this little central region there. Figure out what's up there. Hope you're having a good time, everyone. We are cruising through Act 2. Although we have not done the main part of Act 2 yet. Probably not going to do that until we're feeling very, very confident that we can take down a lesser demon. Uh, I'm not so confident about that right now. Not so confident about that. Okay, well. This way, I guess. Anything up here? Oh, Sendai. Okay. Sendai says, Travelers from the north, halt. You trespass quite deep into Omnian territory. Perhaps you have come to spy upon our supposed troop buildup. It's quite funny, the stupid notions you northern barbarians can get stuck in your head. Uh, who are you, and what do you want? I am Sendai, of the noble merchant house of Argrims, foremost family in Am. Delgod, Alexander, and I have come out here to hunt game, though perhaps you would make better sport. I assume you would have no problem with this? Uh, what kind of monster would hunt his fellow hum human like a wild animal? Of course I was not serious. What I said, I didn't jest. You, with your barbarian mentality, would of course construe my meaning. Uh, sure, lady, we'll be going now. Goodbye, peasants. I wish you luck on your journeys. You'll probably need it. Alright, I guess she's not going to try to kill us. That's probably for the best. I've got this. What is this? Rufy. Oh, it's Rufy. Hi, Rufy. Don't worry about me. I guess we need to lead him back. Yeah, he'll follow me now. Yeah, Jeff kind of chilling on a beach island. Jeff's got an island all to himself. He's just hanging out, waiting until Baldur's Gate 2. I don't remember where this kid was. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hello, child. I've brought you your doggo. Rufy? Who's a fuzzy Rufy? Who's a fuzzy little guy? Thank you just ever so much. I better take this lost little puppy home right away. Here, take this. It's another of his shoe things, but we can get more where we're going. Thanks again. Uh. O okay. Well, alrighty then. Um, so we got a black opal. And I guess the dog went to hell? Alright. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Let's go here. Last spot to check out. That was a cool little map. Uh, 
All right, well, there we go. I guess that's pretty much everything here. Let's check out those map exits and see if we can... Uh, well, there is no southern map exit. So I guess we need to take either the east, west, or north map exit. Only one that we haven't seen would potentially be the east exit. Or the, the, sorry, the west exit. So let's take the west exit. We've still got three heals, so we're doing okay. Pretty close to Nash kill 2, aren't we? 12 hours? Okay. Hmm... Yeah, let's go here. Okay. We don't want to... I don't think we're going to be able to explore the entire map. It looks like we've already started it. Um, just because we've only got two heals left. But let's work towards the north. And then, I guess when we need to go heal back at Nashkel, um, I'll take a quick break, maybe five, ten minutes or so. Um, just to chillax a bit. Get some dopamine, get my focus going again, and then I'll, uh, I'll be back at it. Hope you're having fun. If you're enjoying yourself, make sure to drop a follow. Check out my other content. I'll be, I stream a lot. I do variety content. Um, I'm a musician also, so that's going to be coming out pretty soon. So I'd love to have you around for my other streams. Hope you'll hang out and chat sometime. That's another bear down. Great. Free XP. Love that. This map is actually quite small, it seems, although I worry that there's going to be some big encounter that we're going to run into. Okay, okay, well... We're getting there. There's a little more. This area up above us seems kind of interesting. Like there might be some stuff to fight in there. Just want to uh, outline the map here. Work my way in. There's a waterfall. Cool. Ooh, there's something in the waterfall. Always look behind the waterfall. Dead cat. Aw. Well, that's depressing. Um, I feel like it's probably important. What does, what does this do? What is this for? Don't worry about what? That's the last thing I expected to find hidden behind a waterfall. Let me tell you. Here's a spark. I guess let's just kill them. These guys are pretty easy. So, just pinging them down. They die in like one or two hits. Nothing too crazy here in terms of difficulty. Okay, go. Get some heals. Some loot. Uh, oh, another winter wolf. Okay. Well, I definitely want to keep Jeff out of the way. Let's have a bunch of ranged attacks go in against this wolf. Well, Strongacus charges. That's good. Love to see those attacks go into Strongacus instead of anybody else. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. One of these pelts, that's good. Ooh, and we got levels on our fighters. Let's go. 